So that is absolutely. Do you want me to just show them or do you want to sit down with me? Okay. What? Okay. Do with her and her tummy. How many would even know? Has kind of like. Sorry, I'm like super like. The dog's running around, the baby's running around. My child is currently halfway up the stairs. I'll be right back. back to my channel for those of you guys who are new here my name is Riley Jade I am a mom blogger here on YouTube and I post all things health fitness beauty interior design mommy uh, so if you're interested in that and make sure to subscribe before you leave if you hear a funny noise in the background it's because he is playing with a vibrating toothbrush it's his favorite thing ever but as you guys may be able to tell I am at my mom's house so I am sitting in the dining room right now this is her beautiful kitchen behind me she just recently redid her kitchen she has a new sunroom and she's slowly moving on to you know updating her living room she just bought she just bought some new furniture and she really wanted to redo her like entertainment center. She has this really pretty stand and a big TV, but then it's just kind of like hodgepodge stuff that was kind of like leftover decor from the house that she's just kind of put up temporarily and she really wanted to kind of redo the space. So I'm here to help her do that. I wanna give a big thank you to Mix Tiles for sponsoring today's video. They did send my mom 16 tiles um, that we're gonna be using in today's video. If you guys missed my last Mix Tiles video, I will leave the link down below so you guys can see that but I did like a whole wall collage yeah. we're gonna do something kind of similar with her entertainment center along with some other kind of decorating tips and things like that so if you guys want to see what we do with her entertainment center then just keep watching you guys everything we bought first so our technique in going in was just kind of to well first of all we got some Pinterest pictures so we went on Pinterest and I looked up like entertainment center decor and stuff like that and then um, we kind of went from there we didn't like look at one picture and try to duplicate it or anything we just kind of got like a feel for what we wanted so in one of the pictures they had this big long sign above their TV that said stay a while. We looked for that sign, we couldn't find it anywhere. It was so cute, but we ended up finding this, which we really liked the colors for. Um, and we love the saying as well. So, and so together they built a life that, I don't, I can't fucking read this backwards. What does this say? <laughs> so together they built a life they love. Yeah, we thought this was really cute. Um, and this was originally $49.99, but all of the wall hangings um, at Hobby Lobby were 50% off. That's where we went, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. But. So yeah, that's what we did was we started off with a big piece. So we tried to find one that would go nicely above the TV. And then we're going to work around that and also decorate like the TV stand and stuff. So so the next thing we grabbed is just these like um, this bundle of sticks and then some little cotton balls on a stick, which we thought would be really cute in a vase like next to the TV, especially for fall. So also my mom's house is kind of like 
a little ocean theme inspired like beach house inspired just a little bit she tends to go with like blues and silvers and things like that and just a little little like flair of beach themes so she saw this and really fell in love with it which i think is super cute and i actually think that we can incorporate it into like the i was like talking like this i think we'll definitely be able to incorporate it into that like kind of farmhouse feel that i generally gravitate towards um so yeah, just because it's like wooden and stuff, I think it'll go really nice with the other kind of rustic accents in the greenery that we got. So that was $19.99, but we used the 40% off coupon that's always online. You just Google Hobby Lobby 40% off coupon or coupon and it will pop up. So we used that on this and we got it for like $12. The next thing we got was this Simply Blessed sign. We got this to go with some bowls that we really like. So we saw these bowls and we fell in love with them, especially where she has like silver and stuff. And I like that these are like kind of rustic and just like banged up. So yeah, we got this set of bowls. So then we were thinking to go along with that, we wanted something else with that like tin accent. So we thought this would be cute. Not sure what we're going to put in the bowls yet, but yeah, we got those. Um, this one was $19.99 and this one was $14.99. I believe they were like 30% off or something like that. If you're not trying to do this like all in one day like we were, we probably would have waited on a few things and like gone back a week or two later to see like what was on sale because depending on the week, like, you know, different things are on sale. So just a little Hobby Lobby hack, but um, to go with this bowl, I found this little wreath and this was... How much is this? $11.99. We thought it was so cute with like the little white berries on it. And I thought it would be adorable with this bowl like in it. So yeah, I got really inspired by that. And then also just as like a little filler, um, when you're doing something like this, like a space or a corner or something like that, um, where you have surface area, you want to get some little random, you know, like little things like that that are just kind of small fillers and it's like the, gonna fill the space that you didn't necessarily think of. So we just thought this was kind of cute. It's just a little white wooden house with a brown leather heart. Super random, but it was like a good size, cute, neutral, the colors we were looking for. So we grabbed that, that was $5.99. So this is the vase that we're gonna use for the sticks in the cotton. Um, this was $19.99, I'm sure it was on some type of discount, but has this really pretty kind of detail and essentially it has like the colors that we wanted. We really just wanted like neutrals and a little touch of green. Oh, I didn't even notice. I don't know if my mom meant to get this. Oh, that's kind of fun. Next, I didn't know that my mom actually got this, but it's just this little greenery. This was $2.99. And I was talking about how it would look really pretty if we had some like greenery like hanging over the edge of the table and stuff. So yeah, this is cute and I'm sure we can add it in somewhere. Two more things I wanna show you. Um, we got this for the wall to go along with the mixed tiles and kind of like mix it in, but it just says live simply. It's got the greenery, neutral colors. I liked the brown rope and this was $5.99 and all wall hanging was 50% off. And then the last thing we got again as a filler um, is this little like beaded, rope thing um but yeah when i did my last mixed tiles wall collage i used one of these and it was like the perfect added touch where there was like awkward space in between pictures or something and yeah so my mom picked this out and i thought it was super cute okay so i'm going to show you guys what it looks like right now and then the whole process and the finished product okay guys so these are the mixed tiles and i really wish i had gotten my mom's reaction when she opened these because she actually texted me telling me she was sobbing when she was opening these she said the quality of them was just amazing and that she was super impressed and it just caught her off guard how much she loved them so they have a bunch of different styles for the frames. My mom liked the white mat with the black frame, but you can actually do a white frame or um, you can have the photo filling the entire frame without the white mat. But either way, they have a bunch of different things to choose from and I will leave a coupon code down below along with a link to their website. I recommend pulling it up on your phone. I just find that's easiest and that way you can just pull all of the photos off of your social media if you'd like. That's what I generally do um, but yeah you can also pull it up on your computer as well so this is what my mom's entertainment center looked like in the beginning um, so 
Just to start off, when I redecorate anything, I remove absolutely everything from the space. So anything that does not have to be there, I remove it. So I'm taking everything off the wall, everything off the stand, and then I'm going to be wiping it down. I like to wipe it down just because sometimes when you're cleaning, you kind of clean around the decor. So if you have no decor on it, just wipe it down real good before you decorate it once again. Um, so something that I like to do with the mixed tiles uh, is to lay them all out on the floor. I forgot to show you guys this wreath. We also found that at Hobby Lobby. But I did this with my last mixed tiles project and I just kind of laid them out on the floor and played around with them and got an idea of what we wanted to do. We actually didn't end up doing exactly what we had planned but it at least gave us inspiration and gave us, you know, a starting point. So we decided to go with this large sign in the very center. So my mom was very adamant about not wanting the wall to look too organized and she kind of wanted more of like an organic feel. So she was talking about putting this large sign kind of off center, but I talked her into doing it right in the center and then making, you know, everything else look more organic. I do find that if you start with one piece in the very center, that it's helpful um, just so you can kind of stay towards the center of the wall and use it as a guide. So that's what we did. So as you can see, all you have to do to the mixed tiles is peel this little piece of paper off the back and then it leaves this little sticky part at the top of the photo it makes it so easy to hang your photos and I do want to mention I get a lot of questions or I did on my last mixed tiles video if it rips your paint off or if they're hard to take off and not at all if you take them off correctly um, it does not rip your paint off whatsoever and you can actually restick them multiple times and I find this is super helpful when doing a project like this because you definitely don't always get things you know the first try or sometimes things are crooked so I just love this you don't end up with a bunch of holes in your wall and it's just so fun and easy. So at this point we were a little stumped on the wall so we began decorating the actual stand and by the way as you guys saw in a previous clip I put that little wreath over the thermometer on the wall just to kind of hide it because I felt like both felt like it was going to be very distracting to the wall collage so yeah that's just like a little trick I've done that in my own house too is just take a wreath and like put it over something ugly on the wall so that's why we did that and we're going to kind of even it out with some more mixed tiles on the other side but like I said we were a little stumped so we started playing around with the table and honestly when you decorate you kind of just have to move things around step back look at it move things around more and just keep doing that until you like it this took us about eight to 10 different variations probably to do until we really liked it. And this is how the wall came out. We ended up adding two more on the other side, um, three next to the wreath, and then we did end up hanging that little wooden uh, like beaded decoration there on the right. We ended up putting that chair back in an old throw blanket that my mom had. Um, and then this is kind of what the stand looked like. We just popped some things here and there and then added some greenery in that small bowl to the right to kind of pull from the wreath. And this is how it came out. That is definitely it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And are you okay? Good. I love you so much and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.